Hey folks, quick Friday update for what's going on around Common Man Cocktails. Uh, this week we're going to be doing our live stream for those that like to join us for the live recordings of what next week's show is going to be like. It's going to be at 3.30 on Sunday, Eastern Time. That's GMT minus shit. It's Daylight Savings Time. So EDT, whatever the frick that means. Just type what time is it in Boston? Boom. Um, also, last day for the Floberg Muddler, 30% off coupon. So if you haven't already, you can go to thefloberg.com slash CMC and get the 30% off. Go to, it'll send you to Amazon, use the coupon code, and get a kick-ass muddler for nine bucks. Also, I figured I'd do a live unboxing here since I just found this when I was gonna record. It says fragile on it. Uh, I wanted to see what it was. It says we're here. Let's do that. Um, also, my son has expressed interest in doing like a little video game channel, doing some retro games. So I was thinking of doing that. I'm trying to figure out how to set up a recording of that. Um, so just let me know if you'd be interested in watching us do kind of that let's play, excuse me, that let's play format with, um, I want to introduce him to some old video games. I want to play some Super Dodgeball. I want to play some Zelda, see if I can get him to beat the game. He's like played it like once. Um, let's see, and, uh, you know, basically NES and SNES style games, at least to start. There's a whole ton that I can introduce him to that he's never seen before. I like to do some reaction videos where I just say, here, play Karnov and see what what he, what he does. Or, hey, play Mega Man and see how long it takes before he throws the controller. Um, I got some USB SNES controllers and NES controllers and the emulators, and, and I think I can use the live stream style format that we used. Not live streamed it, but the, the connectors to be able to record the video. Um, it's Mac, so if anybody has any tips for recording emulators on a Mac, let me know. Uh, blueberry corn, I have no idea what's in here. I don't know if those are just crap. This stuff, I hate this stuff. It like goes everywhere. Everywhere! Oh, it looks like there's multiple gifts in here. I'll pull that out. Uh, boom, boom, pull this out. A little, uh, mason jar, maybe? Let's see what else is in here not break my stuff. Normally the PR, oh, I hate this stuff. Normally they send me, okay, that's everything. It's always, I'm always afraid I'm gonna throw something out. Uh, where did I put that blade? Shit, I already lost it. You've been kidding me. I haven't moved. Oh, there it is. Uh, now I gotta clean everything. Huh. Weird, this is, uh, their logo looks like the Lincoln Nod logo. Blackberry Trump, Trumpet Blueberry. So there's a, uh, a, a flavoring. These are the guys. This is Tamworth Distillery in New Hampshire. These are the folks that, um, the inspiration, I believe that the, the person who created the distillery is actually the person who created Sailor Jerry's. I, I, I say I believe that. I'm 99.9% .9 sure. Curtis has told me this in the past. Tamworth Distillery also creates the Art and the Age products. If you see the Art and the Age uh, there's a new titling on some of the new ones. Those are directly through the distillery, not through William Grant, so it's a little bit confusing. Um, they also are one of our, uh, we distribute to them at Awesome Drinks for cocktail bitters for their gift shop, so that's kind of neat. Um, these guys, they found me completely independently, the PR firm versus the actual distillery I work with. Tamworth Distillery, uh, Flora Gin, Blackberry Trumpet Blueberry. I don't know what that even means. It smells like a black currant. Black trumpet, maybe that's like black currant. This is crazy. Samples in little jars. Oh, I'm not gonna die. Mm. That's tasty. I, I don't know if it's if it's a vodka dis, uh, vodka or moonshine or something as the core. Very berryish. This is Flora Gin. Hmm. We'll review these in the show as well. Ooh, very bright. It has a Tastes more like a London Dry, actually. Pretty neat. So, we'll do a review of those. I don't know, they just showed up and I figured I'd open it since I was here. That's all I got for you guys. Don't forget, Floberg, thefloberg.com slash CMC. If you're gonna buy a muddler anytime soon, it ends, I think, at like 23, uh, what's that, um, 11.30, or right before midnight tonight. Um, Pacific time, I believe. So, if you're looking at a muddler, help me help you because by you having interest purchasing getting the, the codes, doing all that, interacting with the sponsors uh, because of, we're working with the Flowberg people. If we can impress them, if I can drive sales for something like that, it gives me an idea of where else I can take 
uh, my business and who else I can pitch it to and some of the keys of, of strategically how I can uh, bring value to uh, kick-ass bar products. So just keep that in mind if you're looking to help me and you need a muddler. If you don't need a muddler, uh, I'd say buy one anyway just to support us. It's nine bucks, but you know, do whatever you want to do. That's it, folks. Uh, there'll be another episode coming up later today, which will be the long form edition of today's video. Saturday, I don't think I have anything edited in the queue. Sunday, we'll have an episode um, and we'll be doing our live stream on Sunday. So keep an eye on that. You can check us out at facebook.com slash cocktail TV if you want to see, keep notified on what's going on because there is no really good way to do that on YouTube. And then uh, I'll put it on Twitter. I'll mention it on Twice, Facebook too right before we go live. So not Facebook, Instagram. So you have all the outlets to get the exact timings and reminders. Put it in your calendar. Damn. All right, we're done. We're teaching you apparently how to open boxes.